Hello, in this video, I'm going to discuss inductive and deductive reasoning. Um, so inductive reasoning is where we start with a narrow observation and based on that, we work our way out to a widespread idea. Deductive reasoning is the exact opposite. We start, we start with a widespread idea and work our way back to a narrow observation. Um, so both can be done correctly or incorrectly. They have different potential pitfalls. Uh, so for inductive reasoning, here's an example of how it's done. Um, so let's say we have a big bag of candy and we don't know what kind of candy is inside. So if we take out the first three pieces of candy and find out that they're chocolate, inductive reasoning would be if we said the first three pieces of candy are chocolate, therefore all of the candy in this bag is chocolate. Um, so that might be correct, um, but depending on how many pieces are in the entire bag, that will affect how confident we can be in that conclusion. So if that bag of candy only had 10 pieces and we take out three and they're all chocolate, then there's a pretty good chance that all 10 pieces in the bag are also chocolate. But what if there's 100 pieces in that bag and we only take out three pieces? then we can't be nearly as confident because it could just be by chance that we took three pieces from the bag and they were chocolate, but maybe half the bag is caramel and half the bag is chocolate. Um, and that really could be the case if there was only 10 pieces in the bag too. So unless we open every single piece in the bag, um, there's always the chance that it happened by accident. But the greater our sample size, so the more pieces of candy we open relative to how many are in the bag, the more confident we can be in our conclusions. Um, so the narrow observation may not be adequate to support the widespread idea. That's the potential downfall in inductive reasoning. So in deductive reasoning, we're going in the opposite direction. So here we're starting with a broad idea and basing our conclusions on that broad idea. We kind of work backwards down to the narrow observation. So for example, all humans are mortal. So that's the initial widespread idea. I am human, therefore I am mortal. So based on my widespread idea, I worked my way backwards to a more narrow observation that because I am human, therefore I am mortal. Um, so again, that can be done correctly or incorrectly. And in deductive reasoning, it mostly comes down to uh, whether the widespread idea you started with is accurate or not, and if your leaps in logic that you make along the way are justified. Um, so in the example I gave, that is um, an accurate widespread idea and good logic working our way backwards. But what if I started with a flawed idea that all humans are immortal? Well, that's not true. <laughs> but if I start with that flawed idea, then even if the logic that follows is accurate, then my observations that follow are still going to be in inaccurate. So all humans are immortal. I am human, therefore I am immortal. Well, that's not true because we started with a false idea to begin with. So any conclusion that follows would also be false. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.